Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Watchpoint Post Show, and we are now joined by a very special guest. You know him, you'll love him. He's got the best hair on the San Francisco lineup. Give it up for the great moth. Thanks for having me. <laughs> love the sound of All the people went home. <laughs> moth, welcome to the show. First off, we got to talk about your ridiculous run, the 28 and 0 throughout stage two. First of all, do you think anyone will ever repeat the golden stage that you guys had in stage two? Um, eventually, probably, if Overwatch League goes on long enough, but I don't think it'll happen for quite a while. Maybe not for the rest of this season. Now, unfortunately, you guys dropped that first game, so your record ended at 28 maps. But was that a bit of a relief? What was it like being on the team after Shanghai kind of shocked you there? Yeah, I mean, actually, we weren't too worried about it. I think it's kind of the perfect time for us to end that streak because now we don't have to worry about it going into the, the stage finals, but at least now uh, we still have that 28 no seat, uh, stage. Something to be proud of, for sure. Uh -huh. You guys had already played against the Shanghai Dragons in their previous match, and you had a 4-0 clean sweep of them there, but it looked like you'd made some adaptations coming into this. Did you, did you change anything consciously coming into the playoff game against them? Um... No, not really. We didn't change our approach too much. I think, actually, they probably prepared a lot more for us than we did for them. Um, in those first few maps, we, we kind of had to try a few things out, sort of adapt to what they were doing. But uh, at the second half of Ike and Wald, when we started playing a lot more aggressive, that's when we kind of, sort of, uh, we kind of found our stride and uh, started winning a lot of fights. So that's a good keyword here, aggression. It really very much looks like all the aggressive team in the league are currently very high up in the standings. Why do you think a more defensive style is currently not working very well? Um, I think, well, if you, if you play really aggressive and you can win fights off of very few ults, that gives you uh, advantages and snowballs going into uh, future fights. But uh, you, can, you can still get away with not playing aggressive. Like Teams like New York get away with playing a really slow passive style. Until they face Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to be playing against the, uh, the Spark now in your semis, which I don't know if you predicted that. Did you expect that match to go in that sort of direction? I don't, how much did you just watch of it, actually, as well, I should say? Uh, yeah, I watched it. We were, I think our entire team was really surprised that Spark won that. We yeah. really expected London to take it. Uh, we were planning to play New York or Gladiators going into the semis, but we're, I think we're really excited because now Hangzhou is a team we've already beaten twice right. and we followed them very recently. So you're confident coming yeah. into this match as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Does so it affect your prep at all? Were you prepping for London? Do you now have to re-prep for Spark or are you guys confident in your old game plan? Uh, I don't think uh, Spark will throw anything too crazy at us. They play mostly 3-3 with a little bit of Winston Goat, so uh, it won't change our prep very much. Excellent. Well, last time we had a shock member on the desk. He went by the little name of Super, big guy. Uh, <laughs> he had a few things to say about you. Do you have anything to say back after being accused to be a feeder? <laughs> uh, maybe he was projecting. I don't know. We're good friends, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, Moth, final question here on the playoffs for you is where do you see the shock at the end of these playoffs and how does it all play out? Uh, this time we're going to win it. I think last time the finals, it really came down to experience. Vancouver's a team who's been in that final situation for so, so many times and they've played those best of seven so many times, but that was our first one. Now we have that experience. Uh, we'll, we'll win it this time. And you think Vancouver definitely has the edge over Gladiators, over the fuel, everybody I, else that could be coming in? I would be very surprised if we faced anyone besides Vancouver in the finals. All right, there you have it from Moth.